Victor Prasad. I'm a real estate broker associate here in Southwest Florida and in today's video I'm bringing you a very special build. I'll tell you why it's special later on in the video but right now I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough tour about this property. Those aerials look gorgeous don't they? Very unique home. First what I'm gonna start off with is giving you a tour around the home and then afterwards I'll talk to you about the features and benefits of this specific property. All right let's go. As soon as you walk in the front of this property you're greeted with front to back open floor plan. We have 11 foot ceilings that are in here and as soon as you walk in to our left we have the dining room then right over in that room is the laundry room now we have the kitchen with this massive island. Storage underneath, super, super cool feature. We all love storage, right? And then we have this massive island. One notable, couple notable things to point out. This is wireless charging, so check this out. Take my phone, pop it on there, and boom, it's charging. That's a super cool feature. Are we done yet though? Absolutely not. We take that out, press it down, Boom, pop-up charging. How perfect is that? Have it flush on top of your countertop. Great feature. Then we have dual sinks, stainless steel fridge, GE appliances, dishwasher, GE as well. And then come over to the stove, you know, upgraded stove where you have a flat top range, nothing in the back there except for the vent and then you have your oven on the bottom. The color combination in here is super warm and friendly and traditional, even though you have a modern home. Now, the upper cabinets there are glass. I don't know if it pops up on video, but wood panel, glass there, right? And we're gonna go through the living room now. So you're greeted with eight foot sliders. The front door, all the doors, interior doors are eight foot and the front door is eight foot, which is awesome. We are primed for cable. And then if we come over to this side here, same thing. Almost every switch in this house is on a three-way switch. So we're gonna come through the guest bedroom area. So that's guest bathroom number one. If you take a peek, matches the countertop. Same combination of the cabinets in the kitchen. We have an efficiency toilet, number one, number two. Super cool. And then our bathtub here. How cool is this? Almost like that brick subway tile feeling. It is smooth surface. And then we have this awesome built-in storage. I mean, come on. How many of us always have stuff in their showers on the corners of the tub and everything? So it's pretty cool to have an added feature like that here. I mean, yeah, you could also put in one of those inserts too for more storage, but it's nice. It's handy, right? So we're going to come out of here and here's the pocket door. How cool is that? We have pocketing doors done right. No scratches or bumps or hiccups on there. So we're gonna come into guest bedroom number one. Check out this cool feature. This is a smart switch. Uh, not a smart switch, a sensor switch. So when you walk through, the hallway light automatically comes on. Now we're coming into guest bedroom number one. Eight foot closet doors. We have a transom window that opens up there and then a window on this side to see out the front. And then again, we're wired with cable, ethernet, plugs for a TV to be set up. Really, really nice. If we come in here, we'll take a peek at our closet. A 
air handler within this closet. And I'm gonna talk about the AC, since we're talking about the AC, let's go ahead and talk about it right now. So this home actually has two AC units. Uh, it, there's an AC unit for this half of the home and an AC unit for that half of the home. So you could split systems and things like that. Right in the hallway, we have a linen closet. And then we have guest bedroom number two. Again, look at these ceiling heights. The flooring, LVP, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. And then closet storage space over here. Then give you a peek inside. Look at our doors, look at our hardware. It's not the typical six panel. It's actually designed looks nice more modern every room has ceiling fans we have pot lighting up here which is awesome every room has pot lighting in built in already so you don't have to worry about a dark home or not enough lights so one thing that this property gives you is the natural light that comes into the windows and it's a good feel i mean having lighting in a house you know just by that ceiling fan that's up there that's never fun. Just to have a ceiling fan light and light up the room. You know, it's nice having light inside the property. All right, so coming around to back out to the kitchen area. Here's our dining room. Give you a different shot. Overlooks the street side. It even has cable and ethernet pre-wired there, right? Here's our laundry room. Could add more storage racks or shelving or somewhere to hang clothes to dry. Could even do the same thing on this wall. It's definitely tall enough. And then, boom, here we are in the garage. My car in here. We have epoxy flooring. Look at the ceiling height in here. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you could put all types of storage solutions. I'll be sure to throw them up on the screen but you could definitely have all different types of storage up here. Shelving, whatever it is. I mean, there's storage in this garage for sure. All because, I don't know if you noticed anything, there's no track running in the middle. Instead, we have one of these garage doors over here that hooks onto the side mount so you don't have that bar in the middle and you're able to add that storage. That's a super cool feature. With a safety lock engagement, how cool is that? There's the pin that goes through to lock your garage door, not have to worry about it. Really, really cool feature. Of course, we have epoxy flooring in here. Really, really nice. And then also you have your air handler for this zone on the left side of the property when facing forward. So there's a really, really cool features to have. All right, so now we're gonna go into the master bedroom and then I'll show you the lanai area here in a second. Here we are in the master. Look at these ceiling heights again. Pot lighting in all the rooms, transom window, natural lighting, LVP floors, pre-wired for ethernet and cable. Come through here we have a decent size walk-in closet. I mean, this is pretty decent. Look, there's definitely, there's pot lighting in the closet as well. So you could do double racks in here, then shoe rack at the bottom. I mean, well thought out. Two pot lightings, so it cast, there's no shadows. You'll be able to see in your closet. I mean, it's just the little things, right? It's the little things that help make everything come together and feel nice. Coming into the master bathroom, we have the same counters in the kitchen, in the guest bath, the same style cabinets, efficiency toilet, number one, number two, and checked out these mirrors. We have these built-in plugs that are cut into the glass. That's super sweet. You don't have a big old gap in the bottom here and then the glass starts up here and it just looks funky. And plus when you splash and 
get stuff on your mirror on the wall like this is easier to clean than the drywall is so that's super nice uh, similar type of lighting throughout the whole home we have these bronze fixtures and hardware super cool now coming around check out the shower you see this how cool is this shower look Glides easy. I'm about five foot twelve. No, I'm just kidding. Five eleven, but plenty of clearance here. I mean, if you're six foot and change, you can still get through fairly easy. The shower door. This thing is smooth. I mean, it's strong. Uh, I'll bring you in here in a second, but there's built-in shelving in here as well. You could turn on your shower. Smart feature. I talk about this all the time. You could turn on the shower. On this side, let it warm up without getting splashed. And there's a little bit different, uh, well, this one's different, it's a stand-up shower, but the tiling is all the way up to the ceiling. And then we have the floor where the drain sits in the middle, concrete pitches there. There's no standing water that I can see, but these are all the features and benefits that I talk about in homes like doing things the right way. And for me, this is the right way, in my opinion. Really good job. So there's a couple things to talk about this home that you wouldn't necessarily know about unless somebody told you. So I saw this home being constructed from start to finish. Uh, inside the concrete wall where the roof, this is a flat, flat pitched roof, which can withstand hurricanes a lot better than a regular hip or gable roof. And it, it, it's way stronger, flat pitch roof, ask any contractor, they're always gonna suggest it. Matter of fact, you could look online and look at commercial property. Almost every commercial property out there has a flat pitched roof. Easier maintenance, doesn't blow down in hurricanes where you lose shingles and everything else. The concrete wall was actually shaped to the pitch of the roof. So the pitch of the roof is built into the concrete wall because normally what people do is they have wood that they can cut to generate that pitch. But here, it's not like that. It's concrete wall or block wall a block wall that has to carries the cuts inside of it so there's no wood fascia or anything that you have to worry about rotting out in the future or things of that nature which is super cool dual acs we already discussed this property has dual acs i'm i'm pretty sure every switch in here is on a three-way switch which is pretty nuts and cool at the same time the electrician must have been bomb and i'm sure he was you know 11 foot ceilings uh, the ceiling height is super important on this property this property, I'm gonna throw up the details about this home on the screen here. This property is 1,642 square feet with 11 foot ceilings and change. That's pretty amazing. Uh, there's not too many properties that you could find that are in this range that have a modern aesthetic to it. But you saw, you walked through this home with me. I mean, yes, it's modern on the outside, but inside it becomes semi-traditional and more cozy. And I think the builder on this one and the designer knocked it out of the park. From what I could see in this home, I do not have any complaints about it specifically. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the way that this property turned out and what they did to it. Now, we're gonna jump outside here really quick. So I wanna discuss uh, what I'm seeing out here and tell you some of those upgrades as well. All right, so let's go. All right, so here we are in the backyard. So this is an under truss lanai, pot lighting out here too. You have outlets back here, under truss shaded. And then what's really nice is this lot, or right next to the home, it doesn't just pitch off steeply on the outside. They actually graded it to where it's flat, where you have a usable area next to lanai area. So that's really nice. Now going forward, back down here, we actually have a flat part to the yard. You see, it's actually usable. They took the steepness out. They took the steepness out, they shortened it to give you a flat yard back here. So if you have kids and stuff like that, you could have a bounce house or a playground, or if you wanted to park something back here, you could. I mean, there's a flat area. You're not on a, on a sideways angle. like. You can see how that property is and how it's shaped. And then if you look at the one over there, it's very similar. It carries a grade that goes all the way sloping to the back. You know, there's pros and cons to everything out there, but I prefer a flat pitched um, 
backyard. So that way, you know, you could set up parking, bounce house, trampoline, whatever it is, it's done well. So there's the back shot of the home. Looks pretty, pretty good. I'm trying to go through the list in my head and see if I'm missing anything. Come back to you shortly.